We have a hole in the bottom of the boat. Oh crap. It's not a very big one. <sighs> We're not sinking fast, but we are sinking. I wouldn't feel comfortable moving the boat with it like this. Mm, not any large distances. Uh, that means the repair job on the outside is delaminated. And it's coming through to the repair job on the inside, which is not the best either. <laughs> Hi, I'm Erica, and this is my fiancé, Dave. We are living aboard our new-to-us Hurricane Damage Catamaran, Barefoot 2.0. We met in Fiji three years ago and have experienced so many beautiful places together. For the past two years, we've made the ocean our home, starting on our Catalina 36 in the States and the Northern Caribbean. We hope to one day circumnavigate the globe, but for now we are fixing our boat one step at a time. Subscribe to our channel to follow our journey. When faced with a challenge, look for a way, not a way out. So I think Erica has uh, gone off on the dinghy this morning uh, when she started the engine. It started first time, she was really impressed with herself. And then she accidentally pulled the key out and doesn't know how to put the key back in. Uh, it's not a black button on this one, it's a red button. Yeah, that's where the key goes under. Is it a black button? You said a black button, you idiot. <laughs> Did you get worried and start paddling on? Yes. I figured I needed to get home. In, in case, I didn't want to drift all the way. Alright, I got you. Um, you see that little red? Flip flop. Oh, yeah, one of the where, good ones. Where the other ones? And no, you probably didn't break it. They're just getting old. Oh, okay. The red thing. See the red thing? Yeah, that's what I thought it was originally. Right. But then... Get the key and it sticks up under that. Yeah. Like that? Yeah. Exactly like that. All right. If you did, you put her in neutral. Yes. Yeah. Try again. See you guys. Enjoy your walk. See you this way, <laughs> Okay, so Erica's gone off to take uh, Foxy for a, a nice stroll this morning and left me with the sand in. So what I did yesterday, I didn't actually film putting this fairing filler on. Um, we thought we were going to be prepared for paint. Uh, but I could still see with the naked eye after the sand in yesterday. It wasn't very good. So I've gone over with another fairing filler. This is the 406, 407 um, West system mixed with epoxy on top of the polyester. And I'm going to give it a rub down. I think I've got a lot of the worst of it now. So back to the grind, back to the sanding. Sanding's coming on nicely. Uh, imperfections are disappearing, uh, but unfortunately we're having to put the hard top slightly on a back burner, which we're going to find out about in just a minute, um, as we're dealing with other problems. We're going on an adventure today. We're going to a place called Sasua, so it's about an hour and 15 minutes away. Uh, Foxy doesn't know it yet, but she's going in for a special appointment today. <laughs> it's going to be interesting. We're going to go and explore while she's in getting her surgery. We're going to go see what we can see around Sasua. There are mango trees everywhere here. We ended up having to stay overnight here in Sasua because the vet wanted to keep Foxy in just to monitor her status. So we ended up staying at a friend's hotel. Hey, morning guys. We've just woken up. There we are. They're both of us. Yeah, we're, uh, not, we're not on the boat. We're not on the boat. It's the first time I haven't slept on the boat in... Two and a half years. Two and a half years. First time sleeping on land. Actually went better than I thought. I actually slept not too bad. Apart from you tossing and turning. That's because she's worrying about Puppy. So we've just woken up. We're into sewer and we're going to go and pick up Puppy because she got um, desexed. What do you call it? Spade? Spade. Yeah, Spade. Not <laughs> desexed. She's still a female. She's still a female. <laughs> <laughs> well, she might be confused. You never know. Um, but anyway, oh, she's, been, um, she's been spayed. So we're going to go and pick her up this morning. So we're looking forward to yeah. that. Um, so we got to spend the night at a friend of ours hotel and it's absolutely beautiful yeah. um, so we'll just show you a bit of the backyard and a bit of the hotel. Mm -hmm.
What's happened, Pep? I'm not sure. It just came down here to vacuum the floors, and I noticed through one of the little holes in the uh, in the floorboards that I could see water. And uh, we've been away for a couple of days. I see the float switch is up. The build switch isn't working. Did the old case test. It's got a bit of salt in it. So. Reconnect on and see if we got power. Start first, see if we got power. If we got power, then we'll check something else. No power. No power. Right, let's go back to the board. Let's find out where we are. Is that the one that's downstairs? No. Just seeing if we've got power on that one. Power on that one. Power on that one. Power there. It's one of these two. Power? That means probably a fuse. We know where the cover is. It's in there. And of course, I closed it up today. <laughs> of course, you tidied it up. <laughs> what we got? Build your pump, starboard build your pump. Should be number five. That fuse done. I don't know. That's a lot of water. Could it be a dead build pump? It's not getting power. So what do you find out? The fuse down there was the corroded. Corroded. Of course, it's the fuse on the port side when it's a starboard side build. It's a French boat. <laughs> <laughs> they do things in funny ways. Right, I'm gonna need some tools to rejoin that. Hi Fox. How are we doing? So it was unexpected that we were going to stay the night in Sasua, but that's a lot of water. I wonder how long it's actually been uh, slowly leaking. All right, so we borrowed a bilge pump from the neighbors. Let's go to the store later and buy another one and a spare. We haven't got spares left since we fixed the other side. Yeah. Kind of I'm stupid. more concerned about where the water's coming from. Another day in the life. It's not always rainbows and butterflies. Nope. <laughs> I did see a butterfly the other day. You did? Yeah, I went for a walk in the woods. Yeah. But then we'll have to figure out where the water is in fact coming from. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. I hear it. There she goes. Connect it up properly, leave that in there. Should pump out that water relatively quickly, eh? Well, there's a lot of it. Where are you coming in from? That's the trouble. Hot water tank, running the engine. And it could come from the hot water tank. It could come from the ace. Nah, the AC is over, over the water line. It could be any one of these connections. Yeah. We'll pump it out, we'll vacuum it out, and then we'll see where the water trickles in from. Maybe it was just a fluke. Maybe it won't happen again. 
<laughs> it's been filling up every time we've been showering or something like that, and we just haven't noticed. Well, that's why I tried the shower um, sump pump thing. Um, see if there's some water coming from the shower when we try and pump yeah. overboard, because the shower pump has been making a bit of a weird noise lately. I'm not sure if that's because of my hair, um, but maybe I'm it's pretty sure putting it's it. Just hair. It's got some hair stuff. But maybe it's putting it somewhere else and it's going over into the bilge. Find that one. Or it could be from the sink. I don't know. Sink, you better tell if you just open the cupboard door, turn the sink tap on. It's wet tap. down there. Yeah, but I've been <coughs> washing the whole bathroom this morning. We got a drip. Just a drip. This is a hell of a lot of drip. When the water's on, it's like drip, 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 drip. Figured out. Nothing yet. <laughs> Start to dry out the build, but there's one area on an old repair that seems to be maybe it's coming up through the fiberglass. That's not good if it is. Nope. That means we need a hollow. Mm -hmm. Right? We can't afford a hollow. No, we can't afford a hollow, but. Coming through. Mm -hmm. You can you can see it. You can see it. It's coming through. Oh, the mingo's playing the bottom. Oh really? Shit. The guy that cleaned the bottom's probably done it too hard. On top of a, a repair, it's not really his fault, but he shouldn't be able to damage it. No. But that's not good because if it continues to leak, can it just it can spread the delamination and make it a bigger job when we actually do pull out? Possibly. Yep. Shit. God damn it. Alright, so looking into ways that we can finance a pull out. <laughs> good job. We need to get jobs again. We have a hole in the bottom of the boat. Oh crap. It's not a very big one. <sighs> We're not sinking fast, but we are sinking. I wouldn't feel comfortable moving the boat with it like this. Mm, not any large distances. <sighs> that means the repair job on the outside is delaminated. And it's coming through to the repair job on the inside, which is not the best either. Yeah, it's bubbling. I can see mm -hmm. it. It sits there. Alright, so this is Here the morning. Go. Just open up the bilge this morning. So we haven't let the bilge run today um, in the night. So um, that's so already quite that's a bit That's what of water. we've taken on in, what do we say, 10 hours, 12 hours? Yeah. 12 hours ish. Well, and it all goes all the way back. It smells like rotten fiberglass as well. Yeah. Same sort of it, smell it, we got from the other side yeah. when we were having the issue there. What the funk? What the funk? Part two. But yeah, so the water down here, it does go all the way back underneath our bed as well and all the oh, way all forward. Right so it's more water than what it looks like. So yesterday when it was completely full, that was not good. No. All right, so I think what we'll do is we'll install this bilge pump. We'll test it, make sure this is working. Install this one and the float switch back on. And we're going to have to try and find some way to finance this um, haul out. James has just done a dive. A friend of ours, James, has just dived underneath because he had his dive gear on, diving on his own prop. Um, and he's checked, and it does look like there is a small hairline crack in this area right at the front of the keel. Um, so it's there. We're going to have to fix it. Yeah. Unexpected, but. Unexpected. There's nothing we can do, but we're just going to have to fix it because we can't take this boat anywhere until we no. have. So we're going to have to find a way to pay for this and sort it out. So. We're sinking, we're sinking. Mayday, mayday! <laughs> Not quite a mayday. Not quite mayday, no. Tools on boat. <laughs> they, get, they get rusty. I mean, boatyard. Boatyard. 
got to make some great videos. Mm. All we had to do in the boatyard, we can do keels, the bottom paint, check, grind back everything under the waterline, make sure that there's no more damages, go in the bilges and do both sides. Um, we can do all the fiberglass upstairs. All the fiberglass and upstairs, we can rebuild the cabin top, we can finish the hard top. Yeah, we can do the sides, we can do all these, because we'll have to get off the boat. Yeah. We do all this fiberglass and we're going to be too dusty. So we can literally just blitz all of the fiberglass and work. We won't maybe be able to afford to paint it, but we can do all the dusty work or the fiberglass and work. We can always buy paint later, um, but it would all be smooth and finished and sanded. Yeah. That's an idea. Anyway, first things first, let's, um, let's install this bilge pump. <laughs> 